all this freaking news coming out about Robert Downey Jr. coming back as basically Doctor Doom. This is this is uh, it's lazy. All right, so today is July twenty eighth, Sunday, twenty twenty four, and let's just jump straight into it. According to a Variety, Robert Downey Jr. sets Marvel return as Doctor Doom in Avengers Doomsday. Yeah, let's unpack that. Okay, so according to Variety, Robert Downey Jr. is returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Doctor Doom in a new Avengers movie titled Avengers Doomsday. <clears throat> Very on the nose. Which will be directed by Joe and Anthony Russo. Okay, the Russo brothers. I'm going to save my opinions for later. Let's just uh, get through this. In their own return to Marvel, the directing duo is on deck to helm two new Avengers movies. Or two new Avengers movies. The directing duo is on deck to helm two new Avengers movie. Doomsday, which will introduce Victor Von Doom, aka Doctor Doom, and Avengers Secret Wars. I don't know why they worded it like that, it's so weird. While Downey had said in recent interviews that he was open to returning to Marvel, fans naturally assumed that meant he would come back as Iron Man. And Tony Stark, obviously. Downey's return as the villainous Victor Von Doom comes as a massive shock to the fandom. Yeah, it really does. Including the ecstatic audience at Marvel's presentation at San Diego Comic-Con. I promise you, they're probably clapping just because they're ex they're happy to see Robert Downey Jr. Like, that's Iron Man. It's a big deal. It's like Spider-Man now. Downey made a victorious appearance to Hall H on Saturday evening to reveal his return. Downey's very first appearance as the Playboy super genius Tony Stark came in 2008's Iron Man, which was the first installment in the interconnected MCU. Devised by Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, over 11 years, Downey would reprise the role in, yeah, 10 Marvel films. Endgame featured the death of Iron Man. Oh my gosh, spoilers. <laughs> Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige stressed to Vanity Fair last December that he had no interest in messing with Downey's emotional exit. We're going to keep that moment and not touch that moment again. Feige said at the time about Iron Man's death, we all worked very hard for many years to get that. And we would never want to magically undo it in any way. Downey is now returning to Marvel, but not as Iron Man. The actor had been quite open this year about his interest in coming back to the franchise. Yeah, because he just won an Oscar. He completed his side quest. He completed his side mission. And I think that's really probably might have been because does Robert Downey Jr. already have an Oscar? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming that he didn't. I'm sure he's probably gotten other awards, but I'm assuming he didn't. And with Oppenheimer being awarded an Oscar, but let me keep reading. Speaking to Esquire magazine after his Oscar win for Oppenheimer, the actor was asked <sighs> if he would ever return to the MCU now. Yo, the actor was asked if he would ever return to the MCU now that he is officially an Academy Award winner. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the actor didn't hesitate to answer yes. Happily is too integral a part of my DNA, Downey said. That role chose me. And look. I always say, never ever bet against Kevin Feige. Um, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> it's a losing bet. Yeah, if you're there, if you're there, it's a losing bet. He's the house, he will always win. Yeah, 
Yeah, because Marvel's definitely winning right now. I'm sorry, Robert. It's a different time we live in now, man. It's a different time we live in now, man. The Victor Von Doom news continues a huge year for the actor. His performance as Louis Strauss in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer won him the Academy Award win for Best Supporting Actor in March. Most recently, Downey was featured in the cast of Park Chan Wook's miniseries The Sympathizer. Oh, really? He's in that? Never heard of it, but he's on it. I might check that out. I might check, check that out on Max on HBO, where he played a CIA, CIA operative, Claude, and several other roles. He earned an Emmy nomination for supporting actor in a limited series or anthology. Anything else? Seems like that's it. Seems like that's it. This is probably about the Thunderbolts most likely. But yeah, let me exit out of this and like, let's just talk about this. All this freaking news coming out about Robert Downey Jr. coming back as basically Dr. Doom. This is, this is, uh, it's lazy. Things lazy. Honestly, if I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in a really like, <laughs> really, really bad mood now. And honestly, yeah, I think it's, it's really lazy. It's really lazy. Honestly, it's very lazy, very lazy of Marvel to just bring back Robert Downey Jr. versus trying to find another, another actor to play Dr. Doom and give another actor a shot, you know? I feel like there's so many different ways they could bring back Robert Downey Jr. <sighs> but they chose to bring him back like this. It's like, I'll give him this. I'll give, I'll give the MCU this. I'll give them this, right? At least it's gonna be fire to have basically all the Avengers fighting Tony now, right? So you get to have that. The hero, the one that saved them all basically, uh, now is the one that might <laughs> doom them all, you know, pun intended. I wanna talk about how bad this can be, how bad this could be, how bad this, this, this is gonna look on Robert Downey Jr. just because of how the MCU has been. Personally, I have not seen Deadpool and Wolverine yet. I will though very, very, very soon. That is a promise, very, very soon, because I would love to be able to talk about that movie right now. When I heard this news, I was wondering if there might've been something that happened in the movie to maybe like help make that connection, but it just seems like this own separate thing right now. It is gonna be interesting to watch the movie though now knowing that, but Nonetheless, fuck it, fuck it. Let's just talk about how this could be, let's talk about how this could be good, right? Because it could help save the MCU for sure, bring them a lot more money, bring them a lot more attention now, knowing that Robert Downey Jr. is going to be coming back. Story-wise, we know that Doom is really supposed to be the ultimate big bad and really i assume he's probably gonna just end up killing kang in some way shape or form but then disney's like we don't care i mean should we care should we care about robert downey jr coming back it's gonna be interesting to see uh tom holland and robert interact for sure and if the avengers are all the superheroes, all the characters that are going to be involved in the Secret War storyline, and all the Avengers that are going to end up fighting Doom in Doomsday, essentially. I wonder if they will be able to find out that that's him, or if it's going to be like a... I mean, the, the movie's literally called Avengers Doomsday, so I am I feel like they're going to find out. I feel like they're going to find out. So it'll be interesting in that sense, but it's just... It just feels like an Easter egg. It feels like Easter egg the movie. It feels like, hey, here are all these cool Easter eggs right in your face, the movie. That's how I feel about it right now. I really, really, really want to wait for the dust to settle and hear more news and just see if anything else comes out from this. You know, that could mean maybe Tom Cruise could potentially be Iron Man. I've been hearing that for years now, honestly. So we could get that as an Easter egg potentially. 
in Secret Wars, now knowing that Tony is not going to be back as Robert, like Robert Downey Jr. is not going to be Tony. But then, hmm, mm mm mm, mm mm mm, Kevin Feige, you fucked up, my boy. You fucked up. You fucked up. You really did. You really did. I really thought you still had a chance to fix things back, even with She Hulk. That's like 2022, brother. It's 2024, about to be in 2025. Avengers Doomsday is coming out in 2026. So is The Boys Season 5. Check out my review on that Um, for Season 4. But um, I don't know, man. I'm not really excited right now. It's it's a shock for sure. It's a shock for sure, like in the article. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know right now. To be honest, I'm really, I've really, really, really been hoping for Deadpool to just be the thing that can get Marvel back right. But it's gonna take more than Deadpool to get Marvel back right. Part of me feels like some of these shows that are coming out and some of these films that just don't align with the fans and they don't align with the lore of these characters that us as fans really love. I feel like they're putting out this stuff either to really piss us off or they really thought that maybe th this was it and the money was already put into these shows into these films so they're just putting them out and you know maybe that might end up with us potentially getting getting the right shows and the right films for us comic book fans you know moving forward but maybe not who knows all i can say is i'm just very skeptical about this right now i'm happy to see robert downey jr you know if you know me i love iron man i really really do love iron man and yeah i have like i'm really mixed on it i i don't even want to go down the good route because the good route means like y'all really need to acknowledge that you fucked up and you have to clean up your mess now right and then the bad the bad is like like i said i don't really care I guess we'll wait till 2026 to see how it's gonna be. But I don't even want to see the trailer, honestly. Just I just wanna just snap my fingers with an infinity gauntlet with the time stone and just go to 2026 and watch the film. I don't want to see no trailers or nothing, honestly. I don't care to watch the trailers. I didn't watch none of the trailers for Deadpool and Wolverine. Not because not because I didn't uh not because I don't care for that movie. I just I don't need trailers. Just give me the movie. Give me the movie. I don't want the promotion. I don't want to get hyped up and built up, have all this excitement for 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 Robert Downey Jr. to be back, to then have it like just diminished or destroyed in a way. Cause maybe what if what if his portrayal of Doom fucking sucks? What about that? What if his take of Doom sucks? You know? I mean, Doom is actually a character that I think a lot of really the comic book fans really they y'all know y'all know me i'm a casual i'm very super casual super duper casual i'm more so the person that has watched the tv shows the films i've watched a lot of just reviews and summaries from a comic story and from a comics explain about different storylines like i take it to that level but i don't read comics like that and yeah there's that there's definitely that he might not he might do horrible he could he could let's just be for real like the mc the mc like like kevin kevin you you know you know what the fans are thinking of marvel right now you know you know how we feel about y'all you know how we feel about star wars we know that y'all have not been really doing stuff with the lore correctly y'all have been pushing all these damn characters we got the multiverse storyline we had a kang storyline we have you could say maybe the multiverse storyline might have ultimately kind of came to an end maybe with loki but maybe not it's just y'all don't fucking know what you're doing and that's really the bad that's that's the that's the that's the bad part about this that i want to really really address is that y'all just don't seem to know what the fuck y'all are doing honestly i might bite my words after watching devil and wolverine but that's the bad of it the good of it like i already said 
This could be a redemption arc, honestly. If you want me to just go based off of this year alone, X-Men 97, loved it, loved it, loved it. I'm a huge fan of the X-Men, huge fan of the X-Men. Um, probably my top three favorite superhero teams. I honestly would say I might even like the X-Men more than I like the Avengers, honestly. Deadpool and Wolverine, I really hope that's a good film. I'm really, really hoping for it. We got the Agatha show that's coming out later this year. I really could care less about Agatha. But if that's good, if it like if I objectively really feel like it's good, then maybe y'all might be going through your redemption arc now because that's what y'all need for this. Y'all really need to ultimately go through a redemption arc with the content that you choose to strategically put out between now and when that Avengers Doomsday teaser trailer comes out. Y'all got time. Y'all got time. I'm sure I'm not the only person saying this. I'm sure there's plenty of other people probably saying this and having maybe somewhat similar sentiments. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section below. Personally, I'm just, these are my thoughts. These are my thoughts. If some of y'all are excited, good for you. Honestly, genuinely, good, like good for you. And if y'all have been enjoying Marvel for these past four or five years, even though it's really been mid, if you want to be objectively, objective speaking about it, object, huh, I'm so flustered with all this, I can't even speak correctly. Objectively speaking, it's been mid, it's been mid. Plenty of YouTube videos out there. Fuck the shills, fuck the shills. Like, is just have a brain, have a brain. But yeah, like y'all gotta go through a redemption arc in order to fix this mess that y'all made, honestly. Y'all really do. You it's like you damn near, you gotta have, you gotta have like, I don't know what other film what films are gonna be coming out next year, but it's like y'all damn near have to have like maybe a few bad episodes of a TV show, whatever show you drop next, let it be Agatha and whatever shows y'all got planned for next year maybe drop like a a c plus movie at most but everything else has to be like good like y'all are y'all are fucked that's all i can say that's all i can say because it's like look at the end of the day the real fans the fans that are spending their money like myself if we're not enjoying this i feel like i speak for not only myself but a lot of the fans that y'all are gonna lose money and yeah comic books like not comic book stuff but like more so the mcu is catered towards family i have a family um catered towards children i have a child she's not gonna be watching the movie because she's not old enough for that yet but at the end of the day it really is about us man 2010s was really a golden era for the mcu but yeah y'all let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe on youtube but, um yeah those are my thoughts.